Passat B7 ashtray replacement. Basically, if you need to replace the ashtray for some reason, and either you have to replace the bulb on this one because it doesn't work, that's what happened in this case. Basically, what you have to do, first of all, I already took it apart, so you have this bit that you have to take out. Behind you got two screws in there that they are like this. It's a T20, you use a T20 screwdriver, take them off. Then the, the ashtray won't come out just like that, so you have to remove, if it's automatic or manual, either way, you gotta remove this, which it just unclips like that, if you can see the clips in there. In there, either side, both sides, right? One there and one there. So you take this off, you gotta put, I got the engine on to do this, so I can move this one to have more space, right? And basically this one will come off. For example, you got this, right? If you look at it, it just goes in there and then it goes in there. You cannot just remove the screw from here and take it off. There's a little tab that you have to push in and then you take it out and then this one comes off. Same on the other side with this one, right? As you can see, you gotta press that, that little tab to be able to take it off. See, so this is a little tab. The thing you push it in and then you're able to take the, the thing out which is gonna be a bit difficult for me to take it with one hand but I made it there you go so you take this one out same with the other one right just put them on the side and then this one slides out right it just comes out like this after that under it you're gonna have that plug which you press on the tab and it just comes off. That's it, you swap it, do whatever you have to do to your ashtray and then put it back. And then you just put them, as I said, back in place. It's gotta go in that little hole in there. So first you have to make sure the ashtray is properly in. Then this one goes in there, this one clicks in there, this one goes in here and you just if you put it right in the thing, it just clicks in, and that's it, right? Then you got the two screws that you gotta put one here and one here, right? If I'm doing it fast with one hand, you can do it as well. So it's not, it's not the most difficult stuff just to replace an ashtray. For some people might think that this is stupid that I made a video like this, but hopefully someone will find it useful. I figure out if someone needs it, it'll be helpful. Right. Just as a reminder, in here, there's a trim as well. And this one, you have to take it off. But this one just comes out like this, you just pull it from here. So I put some felt just not to make any noises. So this one make any noises when it goes back in. And then, as I said, it's better to put it somewhere more like in the middle. And then you put the bottom and the top and it clicks in and that's it. And you arrange this one back as it's supposed to be. Got a little frog in here. Oop. Right, and then we got two left there to put in. And if you have from the old one, something like this, I got a little plug, we'll put that one, that one back in there. And then the screws gonna be. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Right, and.
this is the fun part. Is to put the screws back in there. Luckily I got the screwdriver with the magnet on the top. It's not the most expensive one, which means anyone can do it. There. Just gonna put more like that. The best is to put this gear lever there so I can have more space. And one more here. And then you got a bit that goes in there. Easy. Done. Job done. Put it back in park. Handbrake was on anyway all the time. And yeah, that's it. Just to replace this bit in case you need it. Or in case you want to wire something from there. At least you know how difficult or how easy it is to take off. Thank you for watching.